Hey guys, Beanpoo here, and I'm going to talk about a little game that I picked up on Steam. The game is called IS Defense. And the game is set in a politically fictional 2020 where the expansion of ISIS went out of hand. They took over all of Northern Africa, spreading their genocidal understanding of the world's order. Strongly armed, vast in numbers, and prepared for everything, the Islamic State is launching the invasion upon Europe over the entire Mediterranean Sea. And that's pretty much all you need to know because this game here has a lot of explosions. It's really easy to pick up. All you do is point and shoot. Now there is a little strategy to it. And what you do is the more you shoot, the more experience you gain and you can spend those points. Well, I didn't know that when I first started. All I was doing was shooting, and as you see, press one to call supply dropship. I would, every time I would see that prompt, I would click it. And I was getting all these supplies, but I was still getting overwhelmed by the enemy because they come in trucks, they come in carriers, and when you blow them, blow them up in their trucks, you can shoot them out of the back of their vehicles, the pickup trucks. You can blow them up. You can actually blow the the little uh, boats as they come in on land. You can blow them completely out of it. But it looks really good. It's satisfying. But but anyway, uh, if you it, if you see on the left here, see how it's orange and going up to the top. Well, those are the experience points that you get. And every time you kill something or blow something up, it gets it gets higher and higher. Well, I didn't know that. And one time I was playing, like I said, I got overwhelmed because I just kept hitting uh, one, 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 getting supplies. And some guys showed up on my screen and they were helping me fight the enemy. And I could not figure out how that happened. So I was saving them and saving them. And then something came up and said, hit F, hit two. <laughs> so I hit two and you, boom, you know, guys showed up on the beachfront helping me out, which made my game easier made it so much easier because to make it to the next mission you have to kill a certain amount of enemies you have to kill a certain amount of vehicles and at the rate i was going it was like going to take me forever so having those guys help me out i mean you still can get killed easily if you don't pay attention but having those guys help me is was a lifesaver you also get skill points after you kill so many you get skill points you just hit the c button and it pulls up uh, certain skills you can buy and the highest skills take four skill points so you can get things like um bigger uh, explosions on impact for your rockets faster machine gun bullets i think that might be a 50 cal i'm not sure but it's a stationary you, you can't get out of it, so it's a stationary gun. So uh, you can get a upgrade for that to where you don't even have to reload because it's like reloading one of those M429 weapons. That's how long it takes. Not in real life, but you know, fictional on the game. So you lift it up, uh, puts the, the feed of bullets in, then it shuts the top back down and then you're going. Hopefully you got bullets to uh, have it, I mean, have rockets to use as backups so yeah you can uh, spend skill points uh, you can blow up almost anything but you uh, once you use those skill points it, if you and you get killed in the game you can uh, use that in the next missions or if you get killed because I rarely doubt that you will make it off the first mission on your first go around I haven't seen anybody do it. I'm pretty sure it probably can be done. I'm not sure. But the one thing that will trick you up is that even though you are facing forward and you can swivel left to right, I believe that's a 180, you can actually hit the Q and E keys to swivel the middle point all the way around to behind you. So if those enemies get behind you because they're running with bombs on their backs to blow you up, so you'll get a, an alert that says, hey, enemies are coming in from behind. You will actually hit, the, like I said, the Q and E key to spin around to get your uh, 
your endpoints around you so you can spin left and right from behind. But make sure when you turn back around that you use the Q and E points to get back and try to center it as best you can. Because if not, you're gonna try you're gonna get some enemies coming in on your left and you're gonna notice that you can't swivel all the way to the left like you could before and it's because you're not lined up i played this game on ultra and high nothing special like i said this is just some gameplay that i thought you might like the game came out in april 19th of 2016 by destructive creations and it's a really decent game if you just want to knock off some steam or kill off some steam or you just want to blow some stuff up or if you're mad at ISIS for some reason, uh, you can get in and uh, call in a chopper or an artillery strike or some jets to just lay waste to the whole battlefield. But really, that's all I have. I picked this up really cheap, $5.99. It's a really cheap game. But yeah, just a really quick gameplay. I thought you might like it. The machine handled the game pretty well. You'll have nothing to worry about. All right, well, this is Meme Poo, and I'll see you in the next game. Meme Poo out.
entering combat zone. 